am sitting next to the most beautiful woman in the world. She could get it any day, <laughs> any hour. Babe, okay. You do, you do realize like we're in front of public. Like, so like, what? Is That's, this, this is, I'm married, okay? I know. Well, Happily. You were right about okay, that. Okay, let and me live. I am glad I can get it any day. How you feeling today, Thank buff? you. Uh, you know, I feel wonderful. Welcome. welcome yes, back. welcome. Marriage and Money Podcast mm -hmm. with Egypt and Mike. Yes. Uh, we, we were just talking on the way over about whether we should bring this up. And I, I say, yeah, let's just let's just Definitely. go for it. Definitely. Why a lot not? Of people can to each of their own, right? Yeah, they can relate to this. So Mike and I has we have slept we're back in the same bedroom but mm -hmm. we had slept in separate bedrooms for over two years on and off yeah and we shared that on social media and my gosh you would have thought you would have thought that we damned the damned the devil or something like that people were coming out of the woodwork specifically the golden girls like, yes. specifically women over 55 yes i called you the golden girl if you were telling us that our marriage was over if we were sleeping in separate bedrooms mm -hmm. because you got to realize there are no rules to marriage. None. You got to do what works for you and mm -hmm. what keeps you sane and in my case well rested. <laughs> Come on, we have a we have a 3-year-old, a 10-year-old and a 21-year-old. Mm -hmm. I'm see, not 22 anymore and I need my sleep. So some nights he had to literally take the baby and go sleep in another room. Well, let's let's dig into it a little bit deeper so okay. there's a little bit further explanation. So, you know, we we're still coming out of everybody dealing with the pandemic and so on and so on. During the pandemic, we were also filming several shows dealing with the businesses, dealing with the kids and family. And we said, listen, I need a good night's sleep. And some nights you need a good night's sleep. So why don't we choose separate rooms? This way, I got the kids on Monday. That means you go have your peace. Tuesday, what? vice versa, you go have your peace. So that's how the whole let's sleep in separate rooms. Luckily, we've been blessed to have enough rooms to have separate sleeping situations, right? So it's not about, oh, I don't like you today, or I hate you today. Go have your it own room. It had nothing like to do that. with that. And trust me, there was a rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Oh, yeah. There's Friday, little... Saturday, Sunday, I'm like, hey, we <laughs> meet in the same room tonight, okay? <laughs> hey. Little shum shum. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but, now go back to your it room. Worked. It worked for us. <laughs> I, I think it only became a problem when uh, Harper started sleeping in her own room. We had no excuse to be in separate bedrooms mm -hmm. anymore. And I had actually gotten really accustomed to really liking sleeping in my my own room because he likes to sleep with the TV on all night. And you like to snore, so we snore Oh, you're going to go there? It's on you know live what? TV, let's, so it don't even matter. Let's bring our guests on. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's bring our, because this is going in a different direction. We're going to bring our guests in. Really excited. Yes. Um, Yandy and Mendeecees mm -hmm. Harris. Yes. Okay, just just be clear. They are, they're married. They've been together for sixteen years, or was it fifteen, mm -hmm. 15. years? Fifteen. Fifteen years. No, they've not been married fifteen years. They've been, they've been together, together for fifteen, 15 years. years. That's what you asked me. I said fifteen. It's my memory again. Yeah, isn't it? see, I'm about to get her some of those memory pills. Married for six here. years and just got remarried. Yes. So we, we will talk about all that. But I'm so inspired by Yandy because, well, you know, you know them both from mm -hmm. Love and Hip Hop. But I yes. knew her from the music business for years as an executive mm -hmm. doing her thing. They've got books. They are serial entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. Help us welcome Yandy and Medici Harris. Yes. <laughs> what up, y'all? Thank you for uh, having us here. Yes, Indeed. looking like twins right now. <laughs> like, you know, when they say when somebody get on your nerves, that's how they look like. <laughs> is that what so it is? I, I think that's a really her full time job. <laughs> okay, okay. Y'all okay. do that a lot? Dress alike? No, never. No, no, no. Today I said, let's match. And he let me pick out his outfit. Oh, you just sat at the edge of the bed and said, okay. That's a rarity. Dress <laughs> me. That's, yeah. that's a rarity. It never happens. So he let me pick from head to yeah. toe. He let me pick out his whole outfit. Okay. What y'all think about what we were talking about, sleeping in separate bedrooms? I know you have kids, too, hmm. so you've been through so it. So I, I was thinking about that because uh, she don't let me sleep. She want to watch TV. She want to be on her phone. Uh -huh. Her girlfriends want to call. They want to be on speakerphone. And I'm just laying on the other side, tossing and turning, and just looking You were thinking like, about what? <laughs> like, just saying that, you know. For you were thinking about what? Just going in another room and getting some sleep. <laughs> I wish you would, child. <laughs> That's but, but it's like, <laughs> like, do you know, when you don't get the proper rest, it's like torture, right? My mm -hmm. day don't go well at yeah. all. Because I'm, I'm grumpy, I'm snappy. <laughs> uh -huh. I'm uh -huh. like, get away from me, leave me alone. Yeah. But, and, and, and we talked to our doctor, and our doctor said, you know, eight hours of sleep is so important because mm -hmm. you start to, after the six hours, you start to get your memory back. Mm -hmm. Yes. He said, mm -hmm. uh, um, um, you know, it's like rejuvenating. Yes. He said, so he said, you know, most successful people sleep eight hours. Mm -hmm. 
Testing not with this one. <laughs> Wait, well, I'm uh, cussing on your mic, so, so we so, can really you hear you. So, know, not with this one. This one is good for four hours, three hours. Well, that's how he, I you am. know what? You yeah. and I are the same I'm person. The same. Because I, he knows I'm no good. I'll be looking for my keys, and my keys will be in my hand. Yep. I'll, have, yep. I'll be looking for my glasses. That's I need my glasses to find uh-huh. my glasses. That's my memory because I'm not getting enough sleep. So that's why I said, listen, we know we love each other. We know we can rat a tat tat. Let's just keep the separate bedrooms. Also, because like he leaves his dirty socks. Oh, and all that. oh, oh man. Man. I know. <laughs> that ain't true. Oh, hold on. Oh, hold on. We not gonna, we not gonna, we, we not gonna talk about your closet. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Let's speak on that. Oh Come my on God. Now. Her Come side of the room. You can you can tell who sleeps on what side of the room. <laughs> You could definitely tell. There's a this reason one side, for this. This one, no. because she's gonna say, "Oh, baby, I'm rushing. I oh got my time. Gosh. I got, I got, you know, this and this and that." And well, I'm just looking like one side of the room is really messy, and the other side of the room is clean. Mm-hmm. But you know no. what? Same thing in the bathroom. Y'all have a lot less stuff. Yeah. Nah, and we not to mention, no, she's a hoarder. My what are you talking about? She got stuff from high school. She I just do. never getting rid of like <laughs> she got clothes in different sizes like you, oh, she needs. I to... lose weight, I gain weight. <laughs> but the thing is, his closet is upstairs in our bedroom. Mm-hmm. My closet is like two levels down. Mm-hmm. So like if I'm coming home, we're tired after the restaurant. I just need to take off my clothes, put them on the side of the bed, and go to sleep. The next day, mm-hmm. I get it together. Nah, but sometimes the next day, to close. sometimes the next day <laughs> is two or okay. three days. Okay, if that's the case, if you're saying that's the excuse, what the car look like? The what? The oh, car. oh my God! I'm leaving. He's he's attacking me. I feel attacked. I feel I'm done with this conversation. Listen, right? all right. oh, yeah. listen her I, car I, looked I, just I, like her <laughs> side of the room. It looks just like it, listen, right? So it, and the kids will pick up the habit because she if she don't correct them. They'll follow suit. So with me, and you get in my car, I'm telling the kids, get all your belongings. When you get out, let it exit uh-huh, with you. Uh-huh. Don't get out of my car and leave no book bag. Don't leave your, your, okay. your, your McDonald's. So I got don't leave book bags nothing. in my car. So, so I got she French got fries. I have she got every French fries in the car. See, yeah. see, see what y'all, okay, in all fairness, I think what or y'all excuses. don't realize, it's not excuses, <laughs> no, Andy. No, We're busy. A lot of times, our car is our office, mm-hmm. but also the kids tend to be with us. Thank you a lot uh, more. Hello. See, so no, not only do we have no. our stuff, can I finish my sentence? Okay. So not only do we have our stuff, mm-hmm. but we have your stuff, mm-hmm. and we have their stuff. Mm-hmm. And if you really want us and want to help us, what okay. you do when we get okay. home is go and clean out our car. I'm gonna shut, 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 shut it down with this one. I'm gonna shut it. I'm gonna shut it down with this. Okay. So it's it's busy. It's you got the kids, et cetera, et cetera. When y'all go on trips, just the two of you, what that hotel room look like on her side? It don't look like a vacation. Okay. <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. Doesn't look like I tell her. I said, listen, it's supposed to feel like a vacation. Uh, she, she I about said, to can karate you, can chop you, you over there. Unpack <laughs> and put. They got closets and drawers. So can let, we okay, organize babe, I let you this? talk for so long. So my husband <laughs> is literally OCD. Like he organizes his socks, his sneakers. And when we go on vacation, he's the one that as soon as he gets there, he's placing his shirts in one drawer, his pants, and he's folding everything. He's going to make sure everything is ironed and mm-hmm. pressed. I'm going straight to the beach. I'm not taking anything out the suitcase. She's going to open up the suitcase. Like, like, yeah. Listen. <laughs> it is vacation. Right here. Like here. Like, that like, is it. put my glasses on so I can like, see you with four See eyes. me, okay? Right. I see, see, see. I see you. What it's y'all, vacation. Y'all got to give us a break. I I'm mean, looking for my bathing suit, just, and I'm going to the beach. I mean, we, we, we're just asking that you don't give it an excuse and just say, this is who I am. And then we're cool with oh, it. Uh, I definitely, definitely say that. that. Okay. okay. And, and what I say is, I say, listen, I know that this is something that drives you crazy, so I will cover the housekeeper, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, I say yeah, I will cover it that. because that is not my strong point. But I said this too. Give me grace. Mm. Yes. yes. Give me grace. Just understand. Just give yeah. me grace. We're tired. You, and you see me ripping and running. Just give me grace. And he's okay. Like he'll come home and know, like, all right, she's been ripping and running. I'm not even gonna say anything. So that is not a point of contention for okay. us. <laughs> he just keeps it, and then every so often in a conversation like this, he'll be like, oh, <laughs> I got something to say, but he gives me grace. We do okay. not argue about that. So strong we are, points. We are you, and you are us. Yes. You said strong yes. points. Yes. Let's get into that. What are your strong points in your relationship? Who? What would you say financially? Strong points. You said, okay, I know this is where I lack, and so I'll take that financial burden on. Yeah. Where else do you do that in your relationship? So he's super organized. He's all about structure. Mm-hmm. I am not at all. So he keeps the structure in the house. So he's like, okay, this is the time the kids got to get up. They're, if they're with him, like if I have to do something overnight, they're going to be fed, 
up, dressed by 6 a.m. Mm-hmm. I'm waking them up at 6, rushing, because the bus leaves at 6.36. So, so, so with us, right, <laughs> we, we walk to the bus. But with them, they run. <laughs> Same thing with airport. I, I'm at the bu- I go to the airport. airport. Three hours I'm at early. the Sky Lounge eating for free, mm-hmm. chilling, taking, t- looking at the time, relaxing. She's running through the airport. You know, uh-huh. um, because... life is exciting for me like that. Like I want to. <laughs> okay, we gonna make the flight today. <laughs> Come on, kids. kids. The bus is coming. Let's go. So the kids have fun with me because they know it's gonna be like it's a race for life. Uh-huh. With him. He's gonna get to the bus stop early. They cold, no. standing at the bus stop, <laughs> sucking cold. on a soda pop, once again, pumping. Like, no. he's going to be chilling at the bus stop. I'm not doing that. But maybe that's balance, right? Maybe that's why it works right. so good right. because you're different, right? right? We are. A lot of the things that drive each other crazy are also the things that keep the relationship exciting. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, right, sure. Like, sometimes I will admit, they- in, in our relationship, if we're going through this very mundane period, I might purposely start a fight because then I know we make up. things up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Just, ah! I knew it. And I, I knew it. Yeah. I knew it. Like, why would you... But don't you love me? I love you. Come on, let's go. That was up. him this let's morning. Yeah. That was him this morning. So I'm in the bed. He gets up super early to walk the dogs. He's just an early bird mm-hmm. because he goes to sleep at nine. I'm normally up on the phone or whatever. But hold on. I want to address one thing really quickly about sleeping in separate rooms. So I can't sleep unless my leg is woven into his leg, his arm is around me, my face has to be like right here. <laughs> I cannot sleep without that. Mm. So the thought of sleeping in other rooms, I'd have to kill him because I'll never be able to sleep. <laughs> but I can't sleep, period. So, uh, so yeah, I sometimes I like wake that. up. I can't sleep if she don't go to sleep. I can't sleep if she don't turn off the TV. Sometimes when he's then really aggravated, so loud, uh-huh. when I, I fall say, asleep, are, are you gonna loan that? Look he'll that? go to Skylar's room. And what happens when you go to Skylar's room? You're coming in and say, come get me. He cannot. <laughs> so there's no compromise. There's not not that because it's it's become my blanket, my comfort. Uh-huh. And like because every day is just so much happening, that's my peace. Mm. We could even be arguing and I'm like, I don't care what's going on. This bed is where you sleep. Mm. No matter what. But it's just my peace. And it's like we could be just ready to hurt each other, but this is my piece, and I need that. Mm. As he falls asleep while he's here during this interview. <laughs> right. like, yeah, but I'm exhausted. But this morning, he woke up, and I'm like, babe, go wake up. We'll go walk the dogs, right? So he gets up, goes, like, all right, let me go get a walk dog. Then he comes back 6 o'clock in the morning and just flicks the light on. I'm like, we don't have anything to do till 10 o'clock. It was mm-hmm. 7. Okay, whatever. <laughs> we don't have anything to do. Why is the light on so bright? It's time for you to get up. You need to get it together. And I said, ooh. What? I mean, what is this on the floor? It's like he was in the military. I was, like, <laughs> I was really being attacked. I was like, what? Nah, because I I'm, I'm, I got to do things that she just in the bed on her phone on Instagram, social mm-hmm. media, talking about keep the lights off. No, let's like start the day. Let's yeah. let's start, you know, getting things done. I was done. answering emails. Let, all right, all. you know, content, content. <laughs> so, you know. Um, it's king um, these days. Yeah, I, the kids got to get fed. Mm-hmm. You know, I got to walk the dog. So let's do things as a team so we can, you know, be on time. Right? Because she'll wait till last minute. And then next we rushing and mm-hmm. we're going to hit traffic and everything is 40 minutes away, 50 minutes away. You know, you just never know. So I, I don't want to be the only one getting ready because if you're going to relax, shit, I might as well relax too. Right, right. So, you know. There's so much to talk to yes. y'all about. I yes, just, there is. I, okay, there's, you know what? Let's go to this. Probably one of the most beloved things about you, especially mm. from men. They're, they consider you that down ass chick, mm. <laughs> yes. right? Yes. Because when Mendici, when you went away for right. it was five years. Yes, it was. It was broken up. It was uh, one year in like three months. Then it was uh, exactly four years and ten days okay. afterward. But yeah. you did that bid with him. Mm-hmm. Right. And were you guys married at that time? Yeah. Mm-hmm. You were married. Yeah. Did you did you get married while he was in, or did you get married so, right before he went? Actually, the first year we were engaged. Right. And then he came home and we got married while he was out on bond. I, I was mm. out for two years. Okay. Yeah. okay. So within them two years, we had got married. And, and had Skylar. Yep. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, and so I'm, I'm just imagining that, right? If you can't even sleep uh, away from him mm-hmm. without your legs being wrapped around, what was that like? And did you guys have, was there an understanding? Was Were there rules? Were there, like, how did you... How? How did you guys navigate while he was essentially away for four and four plus years? Well, 
he left, and I'll never forget when we were driving. Um, he was like, "You know, you don't have to do this." He's like, don't, "Like, don't like." Basically, telling me, "Don't do it." Mm. He was like, "I don't want to have to worry about what you got going on. You don't have to do this." And I was like, "I love you." And I was like, you know, I, I said I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you. Mm -hmm. This is a drop in the bucket of the ocean of time we have together. So let's just figure it out. I, when I said that, <laughs> I didn't know how hard it would be, you know, being away. Um, but it was something that I just felt like I knew that there would be an after. And mm -hmm. I did not want to miss out on this. Because this is, I have a beautiful life, yes. right? And I knew that it would be long, a longer time for us to have this beautiful life mm -hmm. than the period of hell that I was going to be mm. in. Mm. And in me, um, you know, I didn't want to have expectation and be let down, right? So I, I'd rather just put it in God's hand. And if, and, and if you could be there for me um, as a friend, that's more value than anything. Yeah. Than someone saying, I'm going to be there as a wife and really not a wife, mm -hmm. you know, and, and doing a thing. Yeah. And because... Stress kills, right? And I didn't want to be somewhere stressed out, worrying about what someone else is doing with their life mm -hmm. on the other side. And I can't really get through this the way I should be able to get through th this with peace in right. my mind. Right. And, and, and peace is priceless. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, it is. You, you understand? So it, if you're not strong enough, then I understand I, I, I still love you. Mm -hmm. But we just got through it. And I think it was just like one day at a time, mm -hmm. one day at a time. And... You know, we, we I wrote more, we talk more, mm -hmm. and 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 I come to find out people in relationships, uh, sometimes a relationship people are moving so fast they don't even take the time out to talk. Mm -hmm. So yes. coexisting yep. together, yeah. so, with really no TVs, intimate, yes. no, with no phones. Right, yes. right. So this was a time for me to like really write and express myself. Mm -hmm. So right? he would write you letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How often did you do that? Um, I don't know. How a few, like once a month. Right. Mm -hmm. I can't remember the last time a man has written a letter. Uh oh, I don't, I don't saw no trouble. Amen. Look, you see, amen. <laughs> Listen, a letter. Listen, I, you should have said I can't no, wait, remember wait, the last time my me. husband wrote you a letter. But <laughs> <laughs> so let me say yeah, this. There you go. Correct. Yeah, good correction. No, no Hetty, let me finish my sentence. You yeah, would have heard the other side. A letter, but you do write really beautiful cards. Mm -hmm. You know, he writes heartfelt cards. As a matter of I fact, love that. it's like a book, and he'll insert something else in it to <laughs> tell me everything. I still keep them though. Yeah. But uh, but that that means a lot. It does. I would I would imagine to you to know that number one, because a lot of people worry, can they trust their wife out of the house for one night? Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You mm -hmm. were on lockdown. She could have been out here doing God knows. Yeah, what. right. So right. we we both got a chance to experience uh, life without each other, mm -hmm. right? And and on my side, you know, I seen so many broken men, mm -hmm. you know, with get that dead John letter. So when someone on the other side waiting for that dead John letter, it's just like. Just a matter of time. You thought they, they, she was they, gonna give up they, on you? They get it. Not think that she was gonna give up on me, but I know it was hard. Mm -hmm. You know, she stressed to me. Um, some days, you know, she. I, I'm. I'm pretty sure she felt lonely. Mm -hmm. And the difference between her, she was. She had love to be sur uh, to be surrounded by. Mm -hmm. I. I. I didn't. So, I'm. I'm in there. You know, vulnerable at that moment. Mm -hmm. You know, so. It's it even rougher for me than it is her because she have the kids to hug, her parents, mm -hmm. she have so many loved ones. I, I'm with strangers, and, and, and my strangers is changing every day. Mm -hmm. and, and nothing is genuine. No relationship is genuine in there. It's just for that moment. So I just had to just, you know, um, just mentally just get through it and, and stay connected. See, this is where we disagree, right? Mm -hmm. Because he'll say that. He'll say... You know, it was it's tougher for me in here because of that. I, I that, but that's my that's opinion. That's your perception, mm -hmm. and I respect it. I do. But then on the flip side, I'm just like I'm out here, right? Raise at this time, I'm raising two little babies. Yes, the love is there, but the support, the way I needed the support from their dad, mm -hmm. that you can't find that, but from their dad usually. Mm -hmm. Um, and and then we talked about social media a second ago. That is the devil yes. when you mm -hmm. are really just trying to maintain a relationship from afar, right? Yes. You see all these Valentine's Days, all these Christmases, all these trips, all these flowers and balloons and birthdays, and you mm -hmm. just sit there like, another birthday down, mm -hmm. got four more to right. go along, mm -hmm. another Valentine's Day down, got four more to go, another Mother's Day down, you know, and it's, 
it was hard. And um, just the mental space of even, like, I know he's he's famous, he's handsome, and it's so easy for anyone to find his address and write him love letters as mm -hmm. well. Mm -hmm. He would get tons of mail, tons of mail. Um, and, and, and I... Those things, although, you know, he can't have someone sleep there, you can fall in love through letters as well. Mm -hmm. So we both had to deal with that mental anguish of who's protecting your feelings, who's protecting the love that we're just supposed to have for each other. Yeah. Um, I had, well, I had a cell phone the whole time, so oh, I used to see... you putting that out? Yeah. I, I was in a camp. No, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's listen. a whole different situation. Well, listen, well, I, 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 I was, I was I in a know. camp, and I had an uh, iPhone, and um, because who I was... It was young black COs. They used to come and say, here, Mr. Harris, your cell phone. And um, what would you like to eat? Want me to go to Popeye's for you? Do you want steakhouse or whatever the case may be? Mm -hmm. So, I, you know, I kind of had an easy uh, bid. As and you when I would say. come to the yeah. business, they'll be like, I'm like, why she rolling her eyes at me? Ooh, <laughs> why she not speaking to me? Wait, He'd there be were like, female COs in there that would yeah, do I had this? both, you know. And I had uh, female COs that used to try to pursue me, too, as well. So, mm -hmm. you know... Um, Again, I, I wasn't, I, you know, I wasn't in a situation where I'm behind a fence. It was no fence. Mm. I, I can, people was walking off and going to a hotel. You could get a pass to go home for two days. Um, this is a federal camp. Mm -hmm. So it was really basically a white collar crime. Mm. So I, I, I was away with a lot of people that uh, afforded it, 500 million, um, got three years, uh, Wall Street. Uh, uh, a lot of politicians, mm -hmm. so th those was the caliber so they of people. Doing hard time. Nah, they, right. they 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 was they was getting their lobsters in. Mm, and were you, you were getting your lobster. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. absolutely. I, I hear her I, when know. she's saying it was hard for me too then. Right. But but right. can you imagine looking on the phone and, and seeing trips and seeing your kids and watching your kids grow mm -hmm. and seeing the events? You know, I would go back to my bunk and be stressed out like because you want to be in them pictures. Yeah. So I said, you know what? Uh, I'm not I'm not picking up the phone today. Mm. I'm, I'm going to read a book. Were you able to co-parent at all from prison? Definitely. Yes. We I took the kids out there all the time. So um, I tried to go every weekend if I wasn't booked. So he he definitely, if, if he needed to talk to Amir, our son, he was having conversations mm -hmm. with Amir. If he needed to daddy up on Skylar and love up on her, he was doing it. So he, he watched events happen, but he was there to see them grow. Our kids... To this day, just think, Daddy was at his job, right. and they right. would go visit Daddy at right. work. Mm -hmm. So awesome. yeah, so when I when I came home, um, my my kids was like, "Oh, you home? You know, you ain't going back to work, right? Do you, like, like that job is they, over. They, they, yeah. they didn't they didn't have to get to know me. They knew who I was the whole time. So see, my daughter, I left when she was one. Mm -hmm. I came back when she was like almost five. Like she just turned no, she was five. She turned five? Yeah, she's What kind of five. adjustment wow. was that? Not just for wow. you, but for the kids now. Because he they weren't used to him being in the house. In the room the with kids, mommy with her and leg. He came wrap. home during COVID. So mm -hmm. we were in the house in the house. We were all in the house. Right rest. before mm -hmm. COVID hit. Yeah. He came home that weekend that they shut Jersey down. Um the kids were in heaven. It was an adjustment for us. Mm -hmm. Because although I was a married woman, I operated as a single woman because right. I was able to make my own decisions mm -hmm. with the house. I was able to cook dinner when I wanted to cook dinner. I was able to leave however I wanted the house to be. Mm -hmm. The house was. Um, so now he wants home-cooked meals every night. He wants breakfast. <laughs> he wants dishes washed every day. And I was like, I'm thinking when he comes home, <laughs> welcome to my queendom. Right. right? <laughs> I'm thinking feet kicked up. Yes. Never wash a dish again in my life. These kids is yours now for the uh -huh. next five years. I'm not doing nothing with these kids. Oh, homeschool, daddy got that. Um, no, he was just like, oh, eh. it, it, what happened when the kids had to stay home from school? We had to turn it, it turn into teachers, and that oh, was we uh, know about oh, that. That, that was that was, yeah, that was yeah, that was that was torture like yes. that because you had to sit there the whole time and be on the face mm -hmm. time, um, a zoom with the teacher in the yes. school, and the kids can't sit still. Mm -hmm. You know, Try, they falling me. asleep, Whole they doing this. For teachers. Yes. And, and, and it was just like, respect. please, when this COVID thing going to be over, get these kids out of here. Like, I can't I do it. I was looking at him like, the nerve of you. You know what it's like, <laughs> you know taking it's them like? to school every day, picking them up, doing homework every day. And I'm like, you get to stay home on a Zoom with them? Because I really thought that this meant I get to check out for eight hours a day mm -hmm. now. Like, that was yeah. your feeling. That yeah. was my feeling. I'm like, daddy's home. It's COVID. Great. He can spend time with the babies. I'm going to be upstairs reading my mm -hmm. book. I'm getting a manicure. Whatever. It's daddy's time. And we just had such a huge disconnect. Like, 
the 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 him being away wasn't as hard as him coming home. Wow. Okay. Right. Right. Like we went right. through a really rocky period for I would say like mm -hmm. the first two years. No, I, don't, I I would say six months. I didn't know it was two years. We at, we still at two years. No, we're not. <laughs> we're going to three. <laughs> oh, okay, your math is a little uh, math is a little <laughs> off now. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, your math. Here, uh, here, I, I, I think she of... she's speaking too fast. She ain't taking time to think. <laughs> um, right, slow it down, baby. Breathe, breathe. Yeah. 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 It's been more than two years. I've been listening to over. No, maybe three. It's been almost three years. Started. And I and I would say the first year and a half was very difficult for us to just get on the same page. Page. He's about structure. I'm mm -hmm. about let's live life as yeah. it comes. You know, he um, he really feels like he wants the wife wife. Like he wants me to wake up and make breakfast. Mm -hmm. He wants me to make sure Skylar's hair is done nice every day. Don't y'all own a restaurant? Why is everyone we have, cooking? We have right, a restaurant. Right. Yeah. Well, he wants my food. Oh, so you don't mm. want the restaurant food. Is it a thing about roles for you? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, well, talk talk right? to me about that. Yes. What is the role then? And I want to defy that in his brain, and I haven't wife. been able to do that yet. What do you want to see from Yandy? Oh, Lord. Um, Go ahead and piss um, off every woman out there. <laughs> Go ahead. Right. Tell the truth, because um, I'm, I'm going to stop you. But you don't before tell you truth. say what you want from him, do you think those roles still exist in your answer? Yeah, I think so. I, I think it, it will be just more domesticated. Mm. Right. And as far as um, structure. Right. I think that, you know, getting home and help getting the kids together for bed and, 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 and creating a balance between work and family. Mm -hmm. Right. Because, you know, you could chase work, 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 work and be successful at work. But the family is falling apart. Mm -hmm. The household is falling apart. Mm -hmm. So you got to have a balance because, you, you, you know, you could be financially in a great space but the family's not mm -hmm. you know every everybody in this house have needs and wants you know if these needs and wants get neglected because you're chasing success then we still fail right there's a lot of wisdom right. in that yes, but is. is that then her responsibility is that no it's not it's, my, it's not it's not all her responsibility and when does the role but shift at the same time if someone is at the same time because what happens is right if 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 you substitute some things right then it's it's not going to be substitute for a period of time is it'll end up staying that way mm. right because it, it create comfortability so if i take on the, your roles for a week that week could turn into a year two well, years that's my point. and then that what role is will my end up role? <laughs> I, listen, what is my, let's talk about what listen, my I mean, role I mean, is listen. i mean i'm counting it down y'all have multiple <laughs> books you run multiple businesses activists you're on TV. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a lot it's for a lot anybody to balance. Right. Right. Uh, so and then to come home and, so, and so have to So we both producing our own TV shows, right? We both got mm -hmm. deals with Vicon. And um, I'm, I'm also our own 15 properties in the city mm -hmm. that, so, you know, so. and, I, and I'm constantly chasing for more properties. I'm, I'm actually looking for a lot to build our house because I want us to move. Mm -hmm. I want to put more security around us. And, you know, as we grow, um, the family grow. Mm -hmm. So, you know, certain, so I don't have the time to sit there, handle my responsibilities, handle her responsibilities. I, we should, we should split them. Or right? get a housekeeper. All right. Well, right. we have <laughs> one. We have one. Our, our, our housekeeper quit because she decided she wanted to be a chef. And and, and I almost went to a restaurant and said, I'm going to burn that restaurant well, down. Well, but that's good. Because then Yandy doesn't have to cook. Let, because, the, let the housekeeper Because she cook. was dope. Like, she was so dope, I wanted to cry when she, when yeah, she I, left. Yeah, we know like, the feeling. Nah, we yeah, had that wait, with our babysitter. It, it, oh. It, it, with our babysitter. It's like she, she's been well, going for so many months, and I still talk about her. Like, please, can she... Just come back and she find was awesome. her. Yeah. She, she was, was awesome. She was the we, best. We still didn't get an answer to the role part, though. <laughs> well, 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 the role. No. <laughs> Listen, mother. He wants a traditional, old school. And, I'm, and well, let me tell you, you what I said him. was. That's what I heard. That is what he wants. And I'm fine with that. But let me play that in its entirety. I don't want to work. I don't want to have to be at the restaurant. I don't want to have to be at the Yelp store. I don't want to shoot the show anymore. I want to stay home, raise the babies. I will cook every meal. And when you come home, I will give you back rubs and kisses on your neck. Will right, that so work? Then, listen, then do that. <laughs> that's, that if, if, that, if that's going to make you happy, then do that. I don't think that would make that her would happy. Right then, it's not. So that like, would make why you even... happy. Listen. But the thing is, would you still be 100% in if I decided I'm just going to stay home? I'm not doing nothing else listen, no more. Listen, listen. 
You don't wow. want that. How? But you, it, for me, it has to be a compromise, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. You can't only expect me to cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner while I also compromise on everything else. Mm -hmm. There has to be a, some days you got breakfast, some days you got dinner, mm -hmm. some days I'm working really hard, some days you're going to work really hard. But it can't be I work really hard, you work really hard, and then I also handle everything in the house. Mm. That is not a compromise. Who's the better quiet. cook? Who's the better cook? Uh, she is. He don't cook nothing. Uh, wait, hold on. <laughs> you want to ask the kids that? Because in, so when, when you I go on. Cereal doesn't no, count. Listen, no, listen. Cereal's not going, cooking. My, my, I had to my, shoot I a cook film. Every day. This is what he's going to say. I had to shoot a they, film they, they and ate, I was I gone for three day. weeks. Mm -hmm. That is once in my life. I was gone for three weeks. That is once they in ate, my life. Listen, they ate every day. And he's like, I cooked every day. I cooked. But what about when I'm there? But you back. I'm smashing yeah. that so hard. Like, I, held, I held it down. That's not, that's not, I held it. But, but I held it down this while you was, was gone. months ago. But I held it down. But I'm back. All right, you back. So, I held it down. So that, that shows so he that held he's it down capable. for those three weeks. He's capable. But remember the time I held it down for right, three weeks? Right, right, right. <laughs> and now well, you know what she's going to say? I held it down for four years. Yes, so, uh, every day. Right? Every so you, like, so you got you to... No, she don't know. Okay. Okay. I mean, one okay. thing about it, she don't never bring that up. Never. So that's never, never, ever thrown in my face. Actually, you know, I, this is the first time we even talk about it in, in a long, long, mm. long, long time. So okay. I don't remember... I don't even want to remember that time in my life. Like, it's, mm -hmm. it's a blur. It was mm -hmm. it was so hard. But not, not what people think is hard. It was just hard being away from him. That's what was hard. Like that, that he is definitely my best friend. We laugh mm -hmm. like nobody's business together. He is really shy and doesn't like to talk too much. Mm -hmm. But when we're together, he I'm always like, can you stop talking so much? <laughs> just leave me alone for just give me some time. Well, how did y'all originally meet? To um to her client, one of her clients had uh, invited me on a trip. Uh-huh. And uh, he told her, give him a plane ticket and, and to gave her my name. And she was like, what kind of name is Man DC? Mm -hmm. Right? And then um, I, I didn't know. I, I didn't, I'm just like, dad, your manager is pretty. Oh, my God. Uh -huh. And she's, she's a stallion. I'm like, <laughs> stallion. Yeah. So, so when I seen her, I ain't really say nothing. I was he said just, nothing to yeah. me. Mm -hmm. So, and, and you know, I ain't give her no attention. None. Which I knew it was going to work. She wanted to figure <laughs> me out. Right? So yeah. I paid her no mind he to sure her. Be like, Why are you so quiet? And I was like, mm. So you hit on him? No, never. What happened yes, was... You did. Uh, no, crazy. Yes, you did. You know you did. <laughs> no. Y'all tell a different story <laughs> no. about yeah. everything. You know uh, that. Right. She, got, she always got her, her opinion. I got mine. No. Oh. So he's right about that. My client um, was like, yeah, I got this kid that um, I, I really want to get connected with. Mm -hmm. I'm getting him a ticket to my show. Book him this ticket or whatever. So when I landed, normally my client at the time, his friends was like goons, yeah. a hot yeah. mess. I didn't want no parts. Um, so I see this like young fine thing. I'm like, mm hmm. Mm. But I don't mix. I've never at this time I had been managing him for maybe like six years, and I, I've never mixed business with pleasure. I'm yeah. on a tour bus, the only female with 15 dudes on a bus. Mm -hmm. um, so I was like, okay. So giving out the room keys or whatever. I I paid him no mind, like he paid no mind. I'm like, here's your room key. He didn't even say thank you. He like, all right. I'm like, you so quiet. Here's like acknowledge the fact that I'm giving you this room key. What happened was. We were, we, I, I booked the show for him, my client, and everybody was piling into the vans to go to the club. Mm -hmm. And um, so I had him like sweats because I wasn't going to, I, once I collect the money, that's it, I'm not going to party with my client. So he's like, you getting in the bus, you going to the club like that? And I'm like, oh no, I'm not partying with him. He's like, oh, you staying back? I'm like, yeah. He's like, well, if you staying back, I'm staying back too. <laughs> Tell me I'm lying. No, that's true. That's true. That was the move. Yeah. So y'all you know, staying I, back. Yeah. So you know, I seen my eyes was set on the prize. Yeah. So you know, there was no need to go to the club to. Is and, that what you like? You know. That she had the opportunity mm -hmm. to be in the clubs, rah rah, right. but she decided to stay back. That she was a little more reserved I, in I, business. Did I, you I, like that? Yeah, I I, I, I was attracted to uh, her beauty, and mm -hmm. I was attracted to her hustle. Mm -hmm. So the fact that she was uh, uh, beautiful, making moves, you know, I was like, oh, okay, okay. So I, I was quiet, just observing. So I was just okay. Let me just check her out, mm -hmm. and then try to not to let her see me checking her out, mm. right? So I'm just, you Meanwhile, know. Meanwhile, she's checking you out. Yeah, because, you know, right. you, you, you learn so thing. much <laughs> just just yes. observing yes, without talking. Yep. And just just watch, you know. You could you could read the room, just yep. watch. And um, I'm just watching, watching, watching. And, and when that opportunity came, 
I, like I took it because she was just like, oh, I don't date um my client friends. And, and I was you like, broke your rules I said, for him. No, I said, he don't worry, not, I'm not his friend. I won't speak to him clear. ever again. Yeah. <laughs> he never did. Yeah, I won't speak to him. That's not my friend. <laughs> he was like that. We stayed up at the bar literally all and night. When she left, right, and we she left him in Miami, and she was like, oh, I'm going back to New York. Oh, I yeah. said, since you leaving, I might as well leave too. He mm. sure did. So I was only there to make sure the show happened, but he and his girlfriend were staying, you know, with their friends for a couple extra days. And I was like, all right, my business is handled. And I was like, well, you know, I'm leaving. He was like, you leaving? I was like, yeah. Well, first of all, that night we stayed up from, I, they left to go to the club at 11. We did not, I did not go back to my room until like 5.30 in the morning. Wow. Only because I heard my client and his crew coming in. I'm like, I don't want to get caught with yeah. you at this bar. Yeah. So we, I went to my room. He went to his room. But then like the next day or so, I was like, yeah, I'm getting ready to leave. It was great talking to you. It was amazing. And he's like, you leaving? And he was like, well, if you leaving, I'm leaving too. Yeah. I was like, what do you mean? He was like, I'm leaving. And then when we got to the airport, he booked his flight there at the airport and then paid the person sitting next to me to um Sorry, change seats. To change seats. So he, that he could sit next to you. Oh, that was it. So they say a man knows his wife. Oh my God. Yes. Did you feel like on that first conversation you yeah, guys stayed up I, all night I, that you'd I, identified the woman for you? Definitely, definitely. I think that um she had a way with words and it wasn't the you know, her words was not something I was used to. Mm. Right. So um I, I like I just noticed like dag you know I'm not used to someone expressing themselves and tell me how they feel and you know usually they more worry about how I feel and mm. trying to make how they want me to feel so someone that's you know telling me what she wants I like that you know mm. what's interesting though we we like to close the show with one to go on and one yes. to grow on um the one to go on is it seems like Mendeecees all the things that bother you are the things that made you fall in love with her <laughs> in the first place you said she was beautiful and she was a hustler mm -hmm. and she was about her yeah. business yeah. Mm -hmm. and it was the way she talked and mm -hmm. that is why she's excelled yeah. right mm -hmm. right and right. so so i guess my my one to go on to everybody is you know when we feel those moments in our relationship mm -hmm. we go through it though we feel those mo uh, moments in our relationship that irritate us mm -hmm. that feel like they're pulling us apart Really look at the source of it and ask yourself, if you didn't have that, would you still be in love? Would the relationship mm -hmm. dynamic be the same? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> because yes. I know some of the things in our relationship that drive him nuts, mm -hmm. my mouth, mostly, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. mostly, mm -hmm. were also the things that you that made you fall in love with me in the first place. Oh, without That's a doubt. A good without thing. a doubt. Yeah. That's a good without point. a doubt. Wow. Well, my <laughs> grow on, I usually gather my thoughts as I'm sitting here with the couples or the, the uh people that are here and what I've gotten from this was the fact that you can't choose who you love and what mm. I mean by that is God is going to put you in places and in situations to where you are going to find that person even if you're not looking for them mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. you didn't come there looking for her right. you didn't go oh. there looking for him she broke all the rules right mm. but in that moment God put you in the right place at the right time and it worked. Yep. And that's all I'm going to say. When it's right, it's right. So that God means even if she's no not cooking, it still works. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nah, listen, nah, I, I'm over it. I'll order some Chipotle. So I'll, be all right. I'll be all right. All right. What does everybody need to know? Tell them where the, where the restaurant, the store, yes. everything. Oh, yes. Make sure you come see us at Dancing Crepe. It's at the Dancing Underground Crepe. Atlanta. Mm -hmm. um, and right next door, we have a skincare store called Yell Skincare. Mm -hmm. And then you can follow us on our social medias. Mine is Yandy Smith. Mm -hmm. All right, we love you all. Yes. Really, we do. We I, I loved back, you before. I feel so like we fell more. in love with y'all as a couple. Yeah. Yes. We this. love you guys too. Uh, now, you know, it's so crazy because we go through the same thing. Hearing y'all's story, just how y'all function in our house, I'm mm -hmm. like, it, it mirrors us. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. that's crazy. Like, I'm you. She, you know, <laughs> in some regards, yeah. yeah. in some regards, yeah. 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 So yeah. it's like, yeah. So and he shows me. He's like. Yo, look at this house. You were showing a house the other day where you went into like a secret closet oh, and yeah, it was into yeah, a yeah. bathroom, into another room. And he's like, I can't wait to do this. I need my house. <laughs> come on, we're going to come over to, <laughs> that to your house. So y'all right, get right, to your house, right, we'll come right, right. to a hidden, yes. hidden closet that leads yes. to the bathroom. Oh, it's yes. the Marriage and Money Podcast. Egypt and Mike, we love you. Don't forget yep. to check out Marriage and Real Estate. Take care. On